If you're a patient who was recently diagnosed with prostate cancer, first I want to say I'm sorry for the diagnosis. Today in this video, we're going to talk about the prostate biopsy, the grading system for the prostate cancer, and how this can affect your treatment. Hello everyone, my name is Rupen. I'm an internist certified both in Canada and the US, and currently in my training to become an oncologist. Today we will talk about prostate biopsy. What is a prostate biopsy? Prostate biopsy is obtaining a sample from a prostate gland via a needle. So we can look at the prostate when we are inserting needle with an ultrasound or an MRI. What is an ultrasound? Ultrasound is an imaging technique that can look at the prostate using sound waves. What is an MRI? An MRI is an imaging technique that looks into the prostate glands and the tissues using magnetic fields. Those both imaging modalities can be used so your physician, usually the urologist, will choose one of them to look at the prostate and in real time insert the needle to the prostate and take a sample and examine it under the microscope. Of course, when you hear a needle, you might think about what about pain? Usually, the urologist will give you anesthesia. Okay, so this can be done all, uh, under the local anesthetic or under the general anesthetic. It really depends on the situation and where the virus is being obtained. There are two approaches, either transrectal or transperineal. Transrectal, it's inserting needle toward from the rectum to the prostate. Transperineal, it's inserting needle to the perineal space. Okay, so the perineum is the area between the pubic synthesis and the tailbone. Usually, urologists use the transperineal. So talk to your urologist about the best approach for your case. This procedure can lead to some complications like it can lead to blood in the semen for a couple of days or blood in the urine and in rare cases can lead to infection. Usually infection can be treated with antibiotics. If a cancer is found in the prostate gland, we can determine the aggressiveness using a score called the Gleason score. The higher the Gleason score means the more aggressive cancer and more invasive cancer you have and the lower the Gleason score means it is less invasive and less rapidly growing. And then your oncologist or radiation oncologist or urologist is going to talk to you about the prostate cancer stage. We usually have four stages. Stage one being low risk cancer and it is limited to the prostate. Stage four, it's more advanced cancer that already traveled to other organ and is usually rapidly growing and fast growing cancer. But that being said, with the current treatments, we can suppress the growth of the prostate cancer and it's a topic that we're going to touch base on in future videos. The Gleason score and the stage of the cancer will help your physician to determine the best treatment option. In future videos, we're going to talk about the different treatment options for prostate cancer. If you have any questions about prostate cancer or any other cancers you want me to cover in the future, please leave them in the comments below.